Trump administration has missed the first deadline to reunite migrant children younger than five years of age with their families after they were separated at the Mexican border. Washington correspondent Alexandra Limon reports the administration claims it needs more time. Federal officials admit they have a problem. They're missing the court's deadline because they can't find some of the parents of children who were taken from their families at the border, possibly because some parents have already been deported. And another problem, officials say they need more time to verify the family relationships for their children's safety. Well, I have a solution. Tell people not to come to our country illegally. That's the solution. Longtime Republican Linda Chavez, a staffer under President Ronald Reagan, says many of the asylum seekers who have been arrested for entering the U.S. outside of ports of entry may not have violated the law. If, in fact, you are not able to do it at a legal port of entry, uh, then, you know, it doesn't say in the law that you, you know, are not allowed to do it elsewhere. California Senator Kamala Harris agrees the president's zero tolerance policy may conflict with asylum laws. Well, that's going to be debated in a court of law, but I, from my perspective, um, they should not have created the zero tolerance policy, and it's inhumane. Trump wants to change all the rules. That's Senator Richard Durbin talking about the Trump administration's plans to house migrant families together indefinitely on military bases. But a California judge refused to overrule a long-standing court order that says kids can only be jailed for 20 days. I'm glad that the court spoke out against this attempt to change it. It's still unclear how quickly the families can be reunited and for how long. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.